coming to Marvelous Day. Today, it's time to make another bridal video. Everything started, actually, when I was daydreaming about the day that I would get married and wearing my lovely ivory dress. And then I thought, if I need my phone at any stage on the wedding day, I mean, this is my actual phone case. But I love usually this color, but it will look so bad next to my lovely ivory dress. I just feel like it'd be a disaster. Any see, my name is Helen Velasquez, and if it's your first time here, I am a Mexican traveler that is living in Ireland at the moment, and I'm very so engaged. Actually, where's my ring? That's much better. <laughs> I'm sorry. Moving on. I am engaged, and I've been obsessed. When I say obsessed, I mean it over anything bridal. I just want to squeeze as much as I can out of the experience. So today, I'm going to teach you how to make a lovely bridal phone case. First of all, I have my nice self-healing cutting mat. I am in love with this and it's just great for covering surfaces, so I would recommend it, but you don't have to have one. I had to wait a month to get my lovely packages from Wish. I got a clear phone case, which I recommend. This one is a full cover, so we have front and back, which is, I think, very good. Just a clear cover. The second little item I got, and this was just perfect for this DIY. Because when you're a bride or engaged, you love showing off your rings. So, this little guy here is a phone holder, like a ring holder, but it's literally a ring. <laughs> so, as you can see, I chose a H, because that's my initial for Helen, and it has a lovely ring attached. I know it's a fake diamond, but you know, it gives you the illusion. So, this has a lot to do with the theme, because you'll see it later, but once you grab your phone case, Basically, it's gonna look like another ring for your big day. Genius. Next, we have, this is optional, but I happen to have a Polaroid that Kit gave me a couple years ago, actually, and I love it. So, the way it works is you take the picture and it comes right out. So I always try to take pictures in events that I know I don't wanna forget, or in travels. So this one here is just perfect. It was on my Irish bachelor party or Irish bridal shower. And you can see it's just as bright to be. It's so perfect. I love it. So you'll need something like this if you want to go full. You do not need a Polaroid. You can also print it out if you have a printer. There's different options that you can do, but just get something nice that you like. It could be lace, it could be something brightly that speaks to you. So to me, is this personal picture. Next is like my favorite because I love bling bling stuff. Basically, is this set of self-adhesive craft pearls and um, gems. So I chose three different styles. They come, they come with so many that you can even use them for scrapbooking or like your invitations afterwards. So double points for that. And the last but not least, and this, if you're good at DIYs, if you enjoy making them, this goes the extra mile. If you really want to make sure those self-adhesive stickers don't move, and for that you'll need toothpicks because this comes a long way and it actually expands when it dries. So you have to be really careful. So, I think I'm gonna start with the H placement. Especially because my, I'll explain you my idea. If you wanna come closer now, you can. See where you want the H, see the placement that's the best for you. Um, also, because this, your inspiration picture, it's gonna be here. That's the reason why this is transparent. Uh, see, everything's coming together. So the H, we can see now, like if you would have not measure it and you just put it right here, it would have, like, you wouldn't see what you want. So I'm gonna place it fairly high, but not too high to block the camera, of course. I think I'm happy enough there. So it comes with self-adhesive, 
but I'm gonna add anyways some Gorilla Glue just because I think it'll be better. Now we just gotta wait till it really adheres and I'm maybe gonna put this down the ring. Yeah, there. And let it be. It's looking nice already, like, oh my God. <laughs> I think I could nearly leave it like this and call it a day, but you know what? It's your big day, so might as well go the extra mile. Now this is gonna make sense. The reason why I have this brush, the reason why I have, I have this, it's only to replicate the bright kind of like work. So I'm going to be putting my letters here, contemplating that I have my picture here. And so it's going to look like this. And then that's when these guys come in. So I'm going to use the pearls which are the smallest. Eventually. Oh my god, literally, I don't need this anymore. Just one last pearl. Last pearl, last pearl. Thank you for that. We can still use it for your hair. We don't have to rip you apart. <laughs> um, so right after that, now it's the fun stuff. Decorating it. We're gonna need to need a bit more. Oh, I didn't realize this come like this. Oh my god, that's actually better. I just realized that. Cute, so far this is the process. No, but seriously, that phone case, where did you get it? 
Guys, I am obsessed with how it turned out. I think this is a 10 out of 10. If may I say so myself? We got the sparkles, we got the 3D, we got the ring. I mean, it has all the elements. So I really hope you like this DIY. <laughs> and you're gonna look amazing on your wedding. Take it for me. I think, I think I'm very proud of it and I would surely be rocking this on my wedding day. So, yeah.